not really sticking as much to the roadways, but it is sticking to the trees, of course. A picturesque shot from Wilmington here. Pam Kinsman Hazelton coming in with about three inches in Wilmington, New York at this hour. So it should continue to add up uh, to a couple more inches as we go through the next couple of hours. But we are just above the freezing mark, as I mentioned, right near Lake Champlain. It's 33 in Swanton, 33 in St. Albans, 31 in Plattsburgh, and 20 still up over most of New York. And also uh, portions of the Northeast Kingdom seeing some of those colder temperatures. It's really an elevation driven storm. So mix off to the south and the snow continuing to the north. Uh, it's really a varying intensity. It's pretty steady over most of New York right now. You can see uh, it's been pretty uh, moderate for the past hour or so. But here in Burlington, we are continuing to see that do those darker blues moving ahead. That indicates much heavier snow, much bigger snowflakes falling and sticking to everything. Down to the south, though, again, we are mixing with and changing to sleet and rain south of Lebanon and Rutland mainly. So the snow is pretty much done there. And another way to visualize where the mix line is, is on our dual polarization radar. Basically show, tells us something about the size of the precipitation particles. And you can see the brighter colors indicating that mix with sleet. So up to about Brandon is where we're getting that sleet mix. To the north of that, it's all snow and it should stay all snow, except until the very tail end when we could have a little bit of raindrops mixing in. But we'll take you out to the weather lab right now in the midst of this heavy snow. Ben Frechette has been there all morning long, driving along. And Ben, uh, what are you seeing out there on the roads? How are they? Well, we are heading back to the Burlington area down uh, I-89 South. Uh, this is a typical commute for many folks traveling over from New York. So we'll bring you right outside. You can see a very slushy look to I-89 right now. And uh, I would show you our tire camera, but with all the slush being kicked up, you can see it's a little bit blurry right now. Now, this is our roof camera. We've actually got it pointed away from where we're driving and towards the road. You can see as you get towards the breakdown lane, it's a little bit sketchy but otherwise road conditions are all right. I wouldn't say they're perfect, but we've definitely seen some worse conditions with uh, other winter storms. Actually, I'm going to bring you right back out to the dash cam because we're coming up on a slowdown right now. We're just past the start of the city of Winooski. And as you can see on I-89 southbound, right now a slowdown as you're approaching the Winooski Bridge. So if you're heading over from the New York side of the lake, keep that in mind. Of course, we'll keep an eye on this right now. Looks like we're going to be stuck in traffic for a little while longer. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll get back inside to the lab here. I can tell you the road temperature is about 33 degrees, so there could be a little bit of iciness under some of this slush. I've seen a lot of folks taking it slow, but unfortunately a while ago did see somebody go off the road. So we're going to monitor this traffic jam. We'll keep things uh, we'll keep you posted on how things are on the roads. For now, we'll send it back into the uh, warmer studio with Matt DiLoretto. Thanks a lot, Ben, for showing us that. And we do have the snow continuing over the next couple of hours. It'll continue to come down at a pretty good clip, but by lunchtime, it's largely out of here. May still be snowing in parts of the Northeast Kingdom with that mixing line making it up to about Montpelier. But look at how our temperatures rise into the upper 30s. So again, we should see some melting in progress later this afternoon and evening. We cool back things down into the 20s overnight, but that mountain snow continues Thursday into Friday. But as far as today goes, we aren't expecting a whole lot of additional snow fall uh, over New York, maybe a dusting to two inches, but in the higher elevations, over four inches of additional accumulation expected. Same for the northern Green Mountains, about four to eight of additional snow, two to four across uh, the southern greens with about a dusting to two here in the Champlain Valley. Southern Vermont from Rutland and Lebanon on south, the snow is just about it for you. We just got the mix of rain and sleet for the rest of the afternoon drying out later today. We're up to near 40 this afternoon and uh, by 2 p.m. we are mostly dry. Could be a couple of lingering showers or snow showers. But again, the mountain towns, the ski summits will continue to cash in. So it's not quite over for them Thursday and Friday. Those mountain snow showers continuing. I wouldn't be surprised to see some more flakes on Friday, even in the Champlain Valley, but I'm not really expecting a whole lot of accumulation. And uh, we are staying cold into the weekend with highs struggling out of the middle 30s.